Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to run Quant2 VL Visual Language Model locally on Windows by using Llama.cpp. Quant2 VL is a visual language model that can be used for understanding of images and videos. As such, it is very attractive for robotics and computer vision applications. In our future tutorials, we will investigate the possibility of running this model on Raspberry Pi 5. Since a lot of viewers of this channel are completely new to machine learning and large-scale visual language models, let's immediately demonstrate what this model is actually doing. Here is the image. And we will provide this image to the model and we will ask the model to understand and to describe this image. Once we install everything, we can simply open a command prompt and over here, with a single line that you can see over here, execute the model. And you can see in real time the model execution. And then over here, after some time, the image will be described. The image depicts a cute and humorous scene featuring ginger kitten and a white dog. The kitten with its orange and white fur is sitting on a sidewalk holding a small piece of food in its front paw. The dog with its white tan fur is lying down on the same sidewalk looking up at the kitten, etc. And in fact, this is the accurate description of this image. We are running this model locally by using Llama CPP. Llama.cpp is a program written in C and C++ that enables us to quickly execute various machine learning models with minimal setup. This program is good for quick assessment and testing of machine learning models before we write a more complex code. Okay, let's start with installation procedure. You will need two programs. First, you need to install Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition 2022 and then you need to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit. To install Visual Studio C++, you need to go to this website over here, or you can simply Google Visual Studio C++. Then you need to scroll down, and over here you need to select the Community Edition. Once you click here, the installation file will be downloaded. You need to open the installation file, and you need to select the C++ installation. And that's it. After you install, Visual Studio C++, you need to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit. To do that, go to this website or search for CUDA Toolkit, click on Download Now, and over here you need to select your operating system, in my case it's Windows, here is the architecture, and I'm using Windows 11. Once you do that, you will be able to download and install CUDA Toolkit. However, here is one very important notice. First, you need to install Visual Studio, then you need to install Visual, uh, actually, CUDA Toolkit. Okay, here's our computing setup. We are using NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24GB RAM. And we have Intel i9 computer with 48GB of regular RAM memory. And we are running everything on Windows 11 operating system. Most likely, you will be able to run this model on lower-end GPUs. Okay, let's start with installation. First, we need to install Llama.cpp. Consequently, you need to go to this website, and then if you scroll all the way down, you should see this menu building the project. Then you need to click on download pre-built binaries from releases. That is, you need to click over here. And over here, you need to select the appropriate file. Since I'm on the Windows system, I need to select this file over here. So let's download this file and let's save it in the downloads folder. Okay, so let's go in the download folder and let's extract this folder. I will extract it over here and later on I will copy the content somewhere else. Okay, so let's analyze what is inside of this folder. 
over here you can see a bunch of executable files as well as DLLs that is dynamically linked libraries that are necessary to run some of these files to summarize everything over here is already pre-compiled and you just need to execute for us the most important file is this one over here. However, I will still copy the complete folder. So I will select everything, press Ctrl C to copy. Then I will go to my C drive and I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call the folder as Llama CPP. Okay, then I will go to this folder and I'm going to paste everything over here by pressing Ctrl V and all the files are now over here let's make a test that is let's go to the command prompt and let's try to run the file click over here and search for command prompt and let's navigate to the folder and over here let's try to run this file llama dash q w n e n to VLCLI. So let's try and let's see what happens. Okay, if you don't see the error, that is, if you see that the file can be executed, this means that all the libraries are properly installed. Namely, behind the scenes, you will need to install CUDA as well as the Visual Studio Code. If you don't have Visual Studio Code as well as CUDA, then over here you will see the error. I don't see over here any error except for the fact that I didn't provide any model. If you see something similar to this, this means that you have properly installed everything. And we can continue with the download of the model files. Next, we need to download the model files. Consequently, you need to go to this Hugging Face repository. You can simply go to Hugging Face and then you can search for this name and you can search for this repository. So let's see what's happening over here. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see different models over here. Actually, this is the same model, only the different versions. And the versions are different model order reduced models. That is quantized models. And over here, you can see the full size, which quant is F16, and you can see quantized models over here. Now, in this video tutorial, I'm going to use this model over here. Consequently, we need to download it. However, we need to remember what model we want. You have either this one or this one. I will use this one. Then, click here on Files. And over here, you need to find the model you want. Here it is. Click over here and download the model. Make sure that you save the model in the Llama folder. Here it is. Besides this file, we need an additional file in order to run everything. And we need to download this file over here. So click here, click on Download and download the file and make sure that you save it in the Llama CPP folder. And now you should be patient since it's going to take a while to download everything. While the models are being downloaded, you can prepare the images. Over here, I created two images. This is the first test image and this is the second test image. Consequently, I'm going to copy these two images to my Llama folder and I will paste them over here. Meanwhile, the models should be downloaded. Let's make sure that they are. Let's make sure that they are in the appropriate folders. Here they are. Okay, next, we need to run the model. To run the model, you need to type this. First of all, you need to call the executable file Here's the name. Then you need to specify this option M. Then you need to specify the name of the model. Then you need to specify this parameter. And then you need to specify the second model file. This is the second file we downloaded. Then here you can 
specify the prompt. My prompt will be describe the image. And finally, you need to specify the image. In my case, image is test2.png. So let me copy this. Then I will go to the folder over here. And then I'm going to press enter. And over here, you can see that the model is running. And after some time, you will actually see the description. The image the, depicts a rabbit character in a kitchen setting. The rabbit is wearing a gray hoodie and is holding an open book. Let's verify that this is indeed the case. Here it is. Beautiful. And let's read the text. And that's it. It literally took maybe 10 to 15 seconds, maybe 30 seconds to run everything. Okay, and you can see that the model was able to recognize that there are several pizzas on pans suggesting that the rabbit might be a chef or involved in the food preparation. Good. Next, let's run the second file. Here it is. The second file is the dog and the cat image. And you should see what's happening over here. Ginger cat and white dog. Looks really good and you can see how quickly the image can be recognized okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial